What's going on guys, JFC here. We've got some big leaks today, or that came out yesterday. We've got leaks though to talk about today. Involving fantasy foot, we'll talk about those here in a little bit. Some market movements as well to go along with all of that. We also just had a pack code leak that might actually leak one of the players in this new promo. So we'll talk about that in a sec too. So if you're new right here, click subscribe. Uh, we're almost at 4,000 and I love you all. Thank you for your support every single day. I don't take it for granted. Uh, first, let's look at content because uh, we kind of got like a kind of a lame day of content. To be honest, it was not very good. Uh, we got two showdowns. We got uh, Matias Akanyi and Elmas. And uh, Elmas is definitely the better of the two cards. Six foot, medium, medium. He's got 92 dribbling, which is really nice. Uh, and he has high pace, which is also nice for a midfielder. But his interceptions aren't crazy high. Um, it, it's difficult to like figure out a good position for him. Uh, I still think he's going to be decent, though. If you know Napoli are having an incredible season. Will they get a plus two or if Elmas gets a plus two, it'll be a pretty good card. Also outside foot shot trait, flare trait, you know, it's a good card. Just it's difficult to figure out what position to play him at. And as a con, he just doesn't look good. Uh, good? What? This doesn't look good. Like 82 finishing, you know, even giving this card a plus two, honestly, it's going to feel nice on the ball. And other than that, it's just not going to be very good. And considering if they don't even win, which uh, Lazio are probably less likely to win than Napoli. So I figured they'd give uh, Zakani a better card. Um, They didn't and don't do him. If you're going to do one, do Elmas. So yeah, the content today just wasn't amazing. It really just wasn't. The, the mid icon upgrade just refreshed again, like it always has been in the player picks are not the upgrade. And we'll talk about player price, or sorry, fodder prices because of that in a little bit. We got the winter review pack today, 300,000 coins. Uh, you get three guaranteed 86 plus rated players in the winter wild cards and turns honorable mentions. Uh, don't open this if you, unless you want to do it with FIFA points. And even then, I just don't really encourage it. It's not a very good pack. I would try and stay away as much as you can, considering we've got a pretty good promo coming up it looks like let's go look at it right now if you guys don't want to deal with trading at all you guys can go to the link in my description go to u7buy.com they're a fast and very very reliable coin service the five percent tax is also covered you can use my code jfc at checkout for a five percent discount thank you to u7buy for sponsoring the video now let's get back to it hero foot fantasy they are coming in the promo and will be able to receive upgrades based on the performance of their former club that is is, is a huge w that sounds awesome so far example yaya Toure got a hero for when he was a city player so if city wins one out of six league games and he will get the upgrade i'm assuming these guys will probably only be able to get like plus one and then plus three traits yeah yeah okay it says one win in six and av avoids defeat in next six games. So I, I I don't know what that even means. I think those are probably just like made up. Like, I don't, I don't know if those are confirmed. Like Sheriff probably just like thought of something and that's what he did. Um, It's not a leak for Yaya, by the way. Like Yaya is not a confirmed player in the leak. Next tweet here, most likely we'll have Heroes League instead of the former club. Yeah, I don't know how they would like get the licensing around that to like put the club in there. I'm assuming they'll just be in the Heroes League like they, uh, they always are. Shouldn't be all of them included. Avoids defeat means only win or draw. So maybe that does mean that that could be the low leaked thing. So maybe they have to go six games undefeated. I guess that's going to be kind of difficult, Uh, but we'll see. I mean, obviously they're very high already. So maybe like they're not counting on a lot of the guys getting uh that extra plus one. So maybe these are going to be the, the exact requirements there. And uh, only league game starting from March 17th, which is a little ways away, like over two weeks. But still, I think that's a W. It looks really good so far. We got this is the car design, too. We got the car design leaked. It is this for the hero foot fantasy cards. Fantasy foot two week promo will include heroes. Like we talked about upgrades will be based on the next six league games. Only will count league games after March 17th. So we're going to have a two week promo, right? The, the promo will come out on was it like the second or no, sorry, the third and then go to the 17th, two weeks later so then all of the upgrade possibilities will start then but the thing about fantasy foot is they actually upgrade the card pretty well before the upgrades even they said they did last year so they should still be a pretty good promo team and yes we'll talk about the market here so this guy just top replies a drop incoming for hero cards and uh they have dropped and we'll talk about that in a sec here here are the two card designs so this is the hero one i believe and this is maybe the regular fantasy foot one um i'm not exactly sure this could be the the upgraded foot version or fantasy foot version and the regular one we got two different card designs last year for that uh We'll have to see though. I just it just has the two cards, right? That's all it says. So I'm not too sure about that. Lionel Messi is in team of the week 18. That's a pretty big dub. I think this is gonna be the card like 93 rated. So it's not gonna be an amazing card, but still trying to get him in your red picks will be a lot of fun. So yeah, he says here avoids defeat in next six games is hard as fuck. Which teams are able to do it? So it looks like that it's gonna be a thing. That's, that's probably going to be the actual requirements to get the upgrades there. And here's a funny one. New packs added. We got the Peter Crouch loan pack. Uh contains a guaranteed foot future foot heroes, Peter Crouch in seven games loan so future foot heroes 
Peter Crouch means he's gonna be in the team, looks like, which is actually pretty cool. I, I want a juiced out Peter Crouch card. You know, he's like 6'7". I actually liked Peter Crouch, I'm not gonna lie, when I used him earlier in the year. We got the John Barnes and Vittish, by the way, but I didn't even talk about them because, like, there's not much to talk about, really. Uh, the John Barnes card actually is not bad. I'm not gonna lie. Prime Barnes is not the worst card ever. Now there's Prime Vittish, really. Um, do him if you are a Man United fan or something like that. You really want to use him. But other than that, just stay away, really, honestly. Look until he showed an upgrade coming. Uh, he did win the game today Juventus won uh this is not a plus two upgrade though this is plus three I think so this is not the right card stats but he'll get the plus two so that's a big W for Locatelli owners out there John Stones' stats were also leaked by the way 82 pace 88 defending 85 physical these are the official stats uh decent card you know if he gets that plus two which is most likely it's gonna be a really good center back 84 pace 90 defending in the prem with pretty high physicals as well that's a pretty good card. So I got to say that with the plus twos there, John Stoves is going to be nice. Also, this will be cool. Uh, it could be the first time in seven years that Messi and Ronaldo are in the same team of the week. It was FIFA 16. Messi and Ronaldo were in the same team of the week in this one. It could be the same one. You know, Messi's confirmed. Now, Ronaldo, obviously, we don't know. But that would be kind of cool. So yeah, let's take a look at this market because um, we are seeing some, fa uh, some falls. Is that... What some uh, drops in some places right now. Janola, 1.36. He was 1.56 just earlier today before this leak came out. He's down 200K. Reason being is because we just don't know what heroes are going to be in this team. And people are panic selling on the Janolas of the world, the Yayas of the world. Pretty much every single hero card right now is down in price. If we go try and find some here. Woke up hero Captain V is 811. He's like 60, 70K down right now. He never drops. So when you see him drop, you know it's so something's going on. And we are seeing some selling in like the rest the market a little bit not a ton you know we got LOA Ron Theo there is down maybe a little bit Drew Bellingham down a little bit Atal's down a little bit but not a ton now the sort of the question you guys probably have is okay we have it looks like probably gonna have a pretty good promo this weekend could this be the start of a market crash of some kind honestly I'm not going to say it's going to crash or anything like that, but I think that the market has just been high for so long. We talked about this before. If you're a, a familiar viewer with the channel, I've always said this whole time this market has been super high. There, It just can't stay like this forever. It just can't. I know it's like an obvious thing to say, but that's why I didn't ever hate selling high and just waiting because there's almost no way the market could continue as high as it was for weeks and months on end right it just wasn't gonna happen i think there's a chance that this you know this sell-off continues and maybe we don't see a crash we just see genoa stay the same price we see some of these cards go down a little bit in price and we just kind of see over the course of the next couple weeks cards start to go down again it's probably not a market crash but also probably not the market rising after the promo or rising during it or anything like that i don't think that's gonna happen but once again it does depend on the promo team if the promo team is like last year's where it was very hyped up very good then that just increases the chance of this happening even more and i said in yesterday's video where we're gonna probably need something big to make the market drop and we have are kind of getting that with the heroes coming out that's got huge potential all of, uh, the whole community is hyped up for it all in all do you if you want if you have a really expensive card do you want to sell now um if you're up on it sure i i don't mind that you don't need to like panic sell or anything like that but if you want to take the coins i don't hate it i don't hate it i haven't hated it for like a week or two i really haven't because it's just it's been a matter of time. Like, it's just a matter of time. Also, Road to the Final Cards is just free money. Like, the, the, we, we made so many coins off these <laughs> off these cards, dude. 300k for Raspadori is crazy. Now, if you look at Fodder, it's about the same price it was yesterday. So, if you held on to it, it didn't really matter. It didn't go up, didn't go down. But if you want to sell, I... John Stones is coming. Also, Val Veghorst is coming. I think after 6 p.m. content today, it's probably a good time to get out of your fodder if you've not gotten out of it yet. Because I wouldn't want to be holding on to it uh, closer to Friday. Definitely not on Friday because we're going to get supply on Friday for sure. Because if the promo team's good, obviously people will be opening packs for that. They'll probably want to be out of it uh, probably by 6 p.m. content on Thursday for sure. It's probably when I'd want to definitely, definitely be out of my fodder. Okay, so also I saw this tweet and I didn't say it in the leaks video because I wasn't too sure about it, honestly. But FUDZone, who is a pretty reliable leak, uh says every single promo from now on will include some sort of icon or heroes um but i don't see how that's possible i really don't because one they're gonna run out of ideas and run out of like cards that are different from each other i don't know how it's gonna be every promo maybe just like the next few but still, I think it's a it's a big W. Whenever they add icons or heroes into promos, it is a massive improvement on the promo. It really is. So yeah, I think it is a very cool concept if it's done right. I agree. I agree with what he says there. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys hyped for this? Can we get a Yaya? Can we get an Aloe Ron? Imagine an Aloe Ron that can get upgraded and it's like a Saudi League card to link to Ronaldo. Now we're starting to talk. But I love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Very, very soon. Peace.